What's up, you guys? So I'm here with my boy Asian Persuasion, hey, and we yeah. are here with a true OG. Yep. I call him Shady, bro. <laughs> but what is your name, and what did you do here at YCS uh, Dallas? My name is Brian Snow, uh, also known as G Bine, Ego oh Boost. God. <laughs> Ego Boost. Oh my God. Uh, I got top 32. Awesome. 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 Nice. Yeah. All right. Anything you want to say before we go into deck profile? Uh, they need to change Sparrows up, man. Yeah. Oh, it's a little too the busted. guy that I've plays been going, it. I've been going for about four years now. I went back to college, graduated, and then I came back. It's my first event back, and then I saw the power of Sparrows, and I was like, wow. That's insane. Yeah. So. They don't say much yeah. return on that card. Right. <laughs> Anyone That's who wants to know, this man format. has been around since the beginning of time as yeah. far as this game goes, uh, so he's seen it all. I have 11 regional tops, like six of them, six of them were back to back. Uh, back in the Shonen Jump days, baby. Yep. Yep. No, those were, they were pretty tough. Those were the good days. Yeah, it was I miss days, those days, know? man. <laughs> yeah. I suck now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, long time coming. Yeah. Well deserved. Let's see it. Okay. So I started off with uh, three agents Spiral Agents. Card's really good. It's not very much to say about it. But, uh, oh, yeah. Actually, uh, me and, me and Andy were actually practicing with this card, actually. Uh, there's actually a correct time to actually the blind it. It's not actually really a blind, though. So what happens is when your opponent starts trying to go off and as you see them start getting rid of their spells and stuff like that or getting rid of their monsters or vice versa, that's when you call it. And actually, majority of the time, you probably call it right. So unless you're just really, really unlucky. But uh, there's actually a good time to call that blindly. Uh, three drones. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, this is ridiculous. I think this is a really unfair card. Before the deck even came back, I was playing Zeus, and everybody's telling about drone. And I just like, wow, I don't think a card like this should exist because it kind of it defeats the purpose of the game because you get prepared for it, you get prepared for an event, and then you get stacked. Yeah, which legally. Is, which is really unfair. So yeah. like, I don't know about that. You should <laughs> really do something about this. Uh, Three quick fixes. Uh, it's not once per turn. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why is it not once per turn? But uh, it's really busted. Uh, I learned the combos. Literally, Andy sent me something the day before, or two days before. Yeah, a day before the event. I studied all of Japan's pretty much like combo loops, and uh, it, it's, it's pretty insane. So, uh, literally one day before. So, all right. So, master plan. Master so Plan is busted as well. It's a great card. Uh, Sleeper. Uh, I heard someone today was actually running two of these, and I was like, what the heck? They were two sleep. Oh, hey, hey, hey. It worked out for them, but uh, I, I do recommend only one, though. You only need one. Half the time, the board that you make, half the time you board is more of like, I wouldn't even say a win more. It's more of like, uh, you only need one, so I don't know why people win more than that. Uh, yeah, last resort. Last resort is busted, of course, equipped to the... Uh, There's actually been a lot of situations where I, I actually just... I, in order to grind it out, I actually just equipped to, to agent or things like that. So it's actually, actually a really good card. I'm thinking about, like, actually, you could probably bump this up because uh, in a grind game, keeping your monster alive to the next turn is really important. So it's probably... Should, I'm thinking about two of that, but you never know. Uh, Maxi, of course. Maxi is Maxi. DD Crow, because I searched this out. And uh, also, it's really good when you open it sometimes because then it, it really throws off your opponent because they don't read the DD Crow because they're expecting you to search it. So when you do have it in your opening hand, don't think it's jank. Think that it's actually like, well, it's another utility card I could possibly use. Uh, uh, yeah, so I only main deck two Ghost Ogres. Uh, I was really concerned with, uh, I was really concerned with like consistency and drawing too many of these cards. So I was like, all right, you know, I'm gonna drop down the two. If I draw it, it'd be really well. If I draw too many of them, I'm gonna lose. So I think two is a perfect number. Uh, I was gonna play three drone lockbirds, but I decided to play two. Like once I said, like I said, drawing too many of these hand trap really doesn't contribute to your theme. So you really, I don't want to say minimize on it, but at least play like the most even number. So two is good. Uh, this card is really uneven, so I had to run three of those because no matter what, I need this card opening hand. It really cripples a lot of matchups, uh, especially the mirror match. So this card I did have to run three of. Uh, also ran, yeah, surprise card of the day. Oh, hey, you were ready, exactly. man. You I, were I, ready. I, yes, I was ready. So, I really thought that people were, a lot of good players are going to over 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 prepare so which essentially i thought they were gonna give me the gateway so i was like okay that's fine and on top of that uh it's a good card it's not bad actually bro you special summon it on the board it was on and actually you can use it for discarding for quick fix it's actually a really 
it's, de it's not a good card always have in hand ideally, but uh, you always could do something with it. But I'm just optimistic, so. <laughs> uh, also, I only play main deck one Gofu. Uh, I was gonna run three. I was running three, and uh, either if I it's either I brick from having too many, or or I didn't see it. And if I didn't see it, I didn't mind because I always still have plays. I thought one Gofu was perfect because if I do draw it, yes. If I don't draw it at all, uh, the spiral engine in itself will take me sell me through the tournament. So uh, now for the spells, three spiral resorts. Spiral resorts, uh, of course, is broken. It has to be ran. Obviously, uh, three terraformings. Um, of course, to search out your cards. Uh, three set rotations. I was actually having a. Uh, actually, go back to the terraformings. Actually, I was actually thinking about at one point not actually using terraformings at all. I actually, I don't know. I just felt like it was really a really vulnerable card, and then. Being being caught up in vulnerable moments is really that's, that's the worst that's the worst feeling with the uh, spirals. But uh, I was just about just only thinking of running three set rotations at one point. Uh, but then I found out about from Japan that or not Japan but OCG if they had the power to run three they would run three. So I was like oh, you know what I take my chances then. Uh, three machine dupes of course because machine dupe and quick fix is broken. Trip dupes. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, something. People probably disagree with me with, but the foolish burial goods. Uh, first, uh, first one too. I think is really good. A lot of players like double summon, but uh, when you double summon, if your hand is not like necessarily the broke, uh, you don't really have a lot of options with it. It's, it's really linear, and uh, foolish goods is not linear. You can play. You have other options. You could. You have like at least two or three options with foolish goods. So. So I, I I like options. So if you if you, you can you can try to go ham if you want to, but uh, if it doesn't work out in your favor, then I'll you would wish you had the foolish goods. Uh, uh, main deck this. This is why people probably would disagree with the foolish goods because you can probably have to run this. I only ran one because I only plan to pull it off once, and once you go off, it's a wrap. So you don't need to worry too much about it. Uh, Big red only ran one because I, like I try to minimize the deck. I'm, I'm not sure if NorCal know me, but all my decks I try to make it as consistent as possible. Not, not a. I don't hate hey, open up Bricky. You only, honestly, you only need one, but uh, it doesn't hurt to have two. But uh, I may bump it into. I don't know. It's, just, it's nah, I lied. I'm running one. It's worth it. Uh, I mained that one Twin Twister today. Interesting. Uh, yeah, Twin Twister was entered. Uh, I think it's good because. Uh, when they set rotation you, a lot of people, I and mean, if you don't have certain cards, you, you can't, you tend to get defeated. Uh, but I don't like going through games knowing that I have no out left in my deck. I feel like that's a waste of time, ironically. It's a waste of time. And I hate having that feeling of like, oh, I'm gonna lose since they set rotated me and I have no out. But I knew I could draw into something. So that's, what, that's why I ran Twin Twister. Uh, of course, uh, Gateway of the Chaos, because like I told you, I care about consistency. And uh, if I was going to run that monster, I showed you earlier, yeah. then I'm going to have to run this to make sure. And it works really well with set rotation. Uh, and then, uh, yep, we got the trap cards, Borrow Mission Rescue, and the Wing Blast, which really, I think, honestly, made me really excited about the game because uh, I'm not sure if you guys know, I got a lot of tops with Teledad, and this reminded me of Teledad. So I was like, yes, I can play something like Teledad again. So, all right, so. Side, side deck, deck. Yeah. side deck. We got three winter cherries. I actually don't like this card very much. People are telling me, "Oh, he's probably main deck it." I don't know, man. I winter cherries people, and I guess I won because they're they're so people are so linear nowadays. But uh, when they winter cherries me, I didn't lose really. So I only I think in my last top 32 match, that's when I that's the only time I ever lost with against cherries. But uh, I don't normally lose it. I just bring out which is another card I'll show you later on. But uh. uh there you go. Three strikes. I think strikes are really good. Um, opening up, opening up your board. Not necessarily over committing, but bringing out a decent board and setting down like three or two traps. It, it's a, it makes a big difference. So especially the fact that you can utilize this against their hand traps as well. So it's a really good card. Uh, solemn warning, of course, because solemn warning is solemn warning. Uh, and also summoning is really important in this format. Uh, if you can't pull off your summon, you're pretty much screwed. Uh, Zombie World, this thanks to Andy, he told me to run this because of uh, Draco. Uh, I didn't play any today, but you never know. There's a lot of people running uh, rogue decks nowadays, so... Uh, 
three system downs just in case. Uh, just in case I'm gonna get ABCs. I didn't play any, but uh, I was still prepared for them. Actually, I think there's an ABC that almost topped today, or if it not did. But uh, uh, two twin twisters are really good cards. Twin twisters buses are out of things. They're uh, especially game for going game if you're going second. Yeah, if you're going second and your opponent has like two or three back row, which is probably uh, which is probably uh, some strikes. Also today, also twin twister and also hit a uh, what's that card called? Uh, Artifact Sanctum, which really pissed me off because I was like, really? That yeah, guy yeah, here, that is that's pretty insane. Shout out to him for that. That was pretty awesome. Uh, Dark Hole, because Dark Hole is Dark Hole. It's out, and then Regeki. Alright, for the extra deck, we got Firewall Dragons. Firewall Dragon is. I don't know, I got back to the game. Pendulum was a thing, and I was like, what the heck? And then all of a sudden, right after that, it was Link Monsters, and then when they brought out Link Monsters, they brought out this. I'm like, this guy. Bro, Yu Gi Oh's good and insane. Firewall is pretty broken. Uh, it's probably gonna be pretty expensive for a while. Um, uh, double Helix, uh, Double Helix, Double Helix really contributes to the theme. I was gonna run three, but three is overdoing it. Uh, I ran this one as well. I feel like that was actually, uh, this actually came up quite a bit. Uh, I really utilized the draw one. Like I told you, I try to be as consistent as possible, and I try to utilize the draw one, because I knew I was gonna need to uh, draw more cards over my opponent. Eventually, uh, Deco Talker is my, probably like my least favorite one. Uh, I don't know, if you knew me back in the day, I hate giving my opponent any kind of advantage whatsoever. And this little zone right here gives my opponent a chance to come back. And I I don't like it, to be honest, but I can, I can see why it's a must at this point. Um, yeah, this is up for debate right now. I don't know about Deco Talker. Uh, uh, Chalice, the Priest. Priest, of course, because I combo that up with the, uh, I forgot what her name is. What's his Negrisha. name? Negrisha. Negrisha, yeah. so like... That worked out really well. Um, this guy, hey, the fact that he's 26 is actually really good because like uh, you can you can do some massive damage with this just this alone. Not not even adding if you completely go off. So and it's been times where I had to do that just attack for damage, especially in your time. Uh, Proxy dragons, great, love that card. Uh, oh yeah, this is the hot. This is the card of the day right here. Oh yeah, that bear. Bro, I don't know what's up with Yu-Gi-Oh players, bro. You would think. You would think after all these years they were learning to read cards, but this is probably one of the best cards in the deck. Uh, people drill and lock me. I still got out. I just pretty much sat on this, and my opponent, I put him on tilt because they're such a linear players. I'm like, why is he acting so linear right now? It's not that hard to get around it, but due to the fact that it does so much and you don't read all of it, I, I, I took that I took that to my advantage. So, but this over, this is probably MVP of the day. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be the only freaking uh, deck report that says that. Uh, ancient uh, ancient fairy dragon is busted. Ancient fairy dragon is probably uh, I didn't bring them out that often because I only run one go food, but I did bring them out once. It was okay, you know what I'm saying. I needed the life points, so it's pretty busted. And I got the search. Um, Coral dragon I barely used him today because I only run one go food, but uh, Coral dragon I wouldn't recommend not running. Uh, this was too busted. Search for the I think that's the search for Duty Crow. Yeah, search for Duty Crow. Also pump my monster up doing the extra damage. Really good. Uh, this card is really good, uh, ironically enough, like everybody's getting mad at me because I didn't bring them out enough, but uh, because you, I didn't necessarily need to go that route, I felt like it was really a lot of committing, but uh, I wouldn't recommend not running because the situation does come up, and uh, uh, Sylvan Princess because you might take that chance and draw an extra card. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's pretty man. much the deck. Shout out to bro. Yeah, shout out to... Uh, I know Team NorCal pretty much damn near disbanded, but I'm still there. So Team NorCal, shout out to they you guys. Always in the hearts. Yes, always. yeah, all my homies out there, uh, especially Adam, because if Adam didn't win the YCS, yes, I probably wouldn't be playing right now. He kind of forced me to play again. Oh, okay. yeah, was, <laughs> forced but, to uh, play. Yeah, I had to play because Adam won. So a shout out to Andy. Andy, thanks to Andy over here, right here. Right over here. Thank you. Andy mm -hmm. saved me a lot. Got back into the game. This guy kind of like crunched me through he caught me back up at least caught me enough to top so sure, which is man. really good it's really impressive uh shout out to my squad out there in the norcal uh shout out to alec we did play testing two o'clock in the morning that was that was pretty random uh shout out to ulysses and edgar uh, you probably don't know them but uh edgar and yuli they're like my closest partners they freaking if it wasn't for them i probably wouldn't be playing spirals right now at all 
and uh, yeah, shout out to them, much respect. Uh, yeah, shout out to my girl, because my once again, if my girl wasn't tripping about me playing, brownie points, <laughs> then, yeah, then, I, then I wouldn't be playing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, same thing with Mike. Mike's been around with me for hell long, bro. Oh, yeah. He stuck by my side. Oh, damn right. Big shout yeah, out to yeah, the yeah. dude's camera dying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we always come up with the back. <laughs> right? No, but Mike had my back since day one, bro. Like, he'd been support- even with all the regional tops, he was like, B, bro, we need to get your top so we can. So and he came there. back out of nowhere. Yeah, oh, mind you, I quit. I quit about four years ago. And then I came back recently, and it's the first big event. Yeah. And, uh, and you got that time. You got there. And I got there, so got yeah. There. Congrats, man. All right, man. Congratulations. All right, for sure. Proud of you. Yeah. This will be one of many. Yes. So. Yes, all it takes is one. The first all right. one. All right, yeah, man. Congrats, bro. Thank you for that, bro. All right, for sure.